So today I'm going to do an update on a video that I made a year ago calling this stock the worst stock I have seen. Potentially the worst stock I saw in 2021, but one of the worst stocks as well that I have ever seen. And I'm going to do a follow up from that video that I did a year ago. Now, just before I get on to that follow up video, I'm just going to say sorry there was no video yesterday. Was just a bit too busy with work to get a video done, but I am here today. And plus, it was a green day yesterday. And I've said before, you don't need me on the green days, you only need me on the red days. But if you are on the Patreon, I did manage to squeeze one exclusive video out yesterday. So do go check that one out if you are on the Patreon. But getting on to this video, an update on the worst stock that I have seen seen uh, in 2021 for sure it was the worst stock that I saw or found um, last year uh, potentially one of the, it would come definitely in my uh, top five worst stocks that I've uh, I've ever seen for sure um, which is the very good food company now since I made a video a year ago talk about that stock and um, it's down 75% since I made that video an absolute huge amount and in one year it is down 87 percent so yeah we're going to talk about this stock um, and we're going to i'm talking about this stock again today as a bit of a follow-up video because i wanted to kind of clarify what i said in that video a year ago to kind of show you know what i saw the red flags that i saw which were clear to me that this was going to be a bad you know bad company this is going to be a bad stock the step stock is going to go down a huge amount in value there wasn't just one red flag with this company there was multiple red flags with this company which you don't normally get you know there's always maybe with that one little risk to the company but with this one you were talking about three or four risks to it and um so today i thought it'd be good to kind of go over what i said a year ago and just identify them red flags once again so that when you look at future investments you think about this video and think oh i remember that being a red flag and how that turned out for the very good food company so yeah i'm trying to use this video today as a bit of a help for you guys to spot some of these red flags so you don't end up in a, a very good food company so uh, yeah we'll take a look at this now first of all something that was really clear about a year ago and um, when i made this video uh, about very good food, food company there was a few people that weren't happy about me making that video there was a few people in the comments section going oh this is you know it's amazing company it's going to do absolutely well and unfortunately you know, the people that were commenting on that video were down at least 75 percent um unless they managed to get rid of it uh, they're down 75 percent since i made that video um and this is what you've always got this is why you know don't listen to anyone else you've got to make your own decision because a few a few of them people that might be you know still posting i mean if it's something negative you know they might be pushing an agenda that they're short on it and you know if people are you know maybe too bullish on a company you know you've got to make your own opinion because they might be too far down the rabbit hole that they can't see some of the red flags coming and you know for them people that were on the video you know posting you know like oh i don't agree with you and everything maybe they just got too far down the rabbit hole to realize you know there was all these red flags about um and that's what can happen so this is really important that you're always even because one of the things you do generally when you buy a company is that if you buy a company you come you know you bought you you know you buy into that project that management are going to do and you kind of you know you believe in your company you kind of stick it in there you have this vision of oh i'm going to hold for the you know next two three four five years which you generally do um but you've always got to be that kind of awareness of going okay i don't like what management are doing there or management aren't following through with what they said they were going to do and when that sort of thing's happening and then red flags start showing up you have to go well you know you got to kind of jump before you pushed on some you know some things and that's why it's always important to remember you know why you invested in that company and our management actually following through with what they said um so yeah now i am going to give a little bit of a extra point before i do answer this is that i am going to say i think it's only fair that i do say this is that we are currently in a bear market so with growth stocks and um, you know growth stocks have been hit absolutely hard you know a huge amount and i'm sure like us being in the bear market has obviously affected the share price a bit but generally a lot of these growth stocks aren't down 75 percent in that same period of time so yeah I'll, I'll just make that point of view is that just to, to be fair to the very good food company a bear market isn't going to help that stock price at all um but it's definitely down a huge amount um considering the, what other growth stocks are down anyway so but i thought i'd make that point to be to be uh fair on on, on the on the stock price now first of all the first problem that, that came on this company is game plan and expansion so the big thing is what you have to do is management are going to have a game plan half the time when you're investing is listening to the story and the growth plan that management put out and believing can they execute that game plan that's probably one of the you know key things about investing into a company you know no one knows really what the company is going to do you can have a good idea but um further down the line you've got to listen to what the company is going to do or the management team are going to do to 
help that company do very well to gain profit and revenue. And you've got to keep watching that management team and see if they're following through with that game plan and management. Now with a management team of very good food company, they were making some crazy ideas when expanding and their game plan. Basically, any company with or management with any sense is that, okay, what you do is you build up a revenue base in a country, you know, you maximize that revenue potential, and then potentially, you know, you look to go out of the, you know, national space and you go international or go from being, say, in the US and then you move into, say, um, maybe the UK and then you go to Germany, then you go to Italy, and you slowly expand going forward when you've built up a decent base in one country. And what <laughs> very good food company did is their game plan was all over the place they went okay we're going to start building up some revenue in the um the us and then they only got to like 25 million in revenue and then it goes okay what we're going to do now is we're going to look at expanding to china and it's like well why are you expanding to china when you haven't even dominated the us you know you're only making 25 million in the us in that market easily goes to you know, at least 100 million, potentially up to 1 billion uh, in revenue in the US and jumping from, you know, jumping straight away and there was no game plan of building up from a certain building the revenue up, then you can build up your profit that comes in from there and, you know, slowly building up your business. What the management team, um, the very good food company, is they were jumping place to place to place going into there and they haven't even built up a solid country yet with revenue or bringing in some potentially moving to profit so you don't need to burn through much cash when you do expand and the execution and the game plan was absolutely awful for this company and that was clear and I think recently they did actually post a bit of an update saying that basically they're going to have to slow down the production now um, because they have to kind of you know save money maybe the demand's not strong enough and that's the game plan all over the place you know just, you know ramping up the us you know huge before and then not even scaling it before you jump into another country now you have to scale down that was obvious it was going to happen because they were they didn't have a game a stage of where they were going to you know move in the right direction so that's kind of caught up with management team you know the game plan was all over the place and the next thing is this that ties into with the next point is the money losing if you ever look at the company of the very good food company it's absolutely horrible because what happens is the revenue goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up. And if you ever look at the prof, the, the money they're losing, the, the money they're losing is losing even more. And the thing is they're losing even, they're losing double the money that they make on profit. So every time the revenue goes up, the profit goes down. And this once again comes about down to the management and their game plan. Rather than thinking, okay, every time our revenue keeps going up, we lose even more money. What we need to do is make sure that the revenue goes up. We start moving the profit in the right direction or it kind of flatlines a bit where we're not burning through as much cash. And this is a, a massive problem because what was leading to the company or leading to the business doing is they were just losing more, more money every time the revenue went up. And that's why the management needs to have a game plan of expanding that revenue, but also making sure they weren't losing as much money. And then because the company was losing so much money, that led to the next problem, which they had they had to dilute shareholders. They were diluting shareholders an absolute a huge amount because they needed to raise you know capital because they were losing so much money, and that also meant taking debt on. So the company had to take a lot of debt on, and also they're having to dilute shareholders. So if you're in a shareholders point of view, you know you're getting diluted, and then your company that you own has took absolute debt on, and this all ties together. This goes to management having no game plan, or having a game plan that's all over the place. They're, because they have no game plan, they're losing a lot of money. And because they're losing a lot of money and they're burning through so much money, they're having to dilute shareholders and take debt on. All these three things tied, tied in together and it was clear this was happening uh, so much. So that's something you want to be uh, looking out for. And then to top it off, you know, you weren't even picking this company up at an, a, you know, a cheap valuation. And now I can't remember exactly like what exact uh, price to sales ratio these were at. But off the top of my head, I don't know if it was something like 50 times sales or something. And even now, I think it's still very very high, you know, price to sales you're paying up for this company. But even uh, when I made that video and it had dropped a fair amount before that, it was trading at an absolute ridiculous valuation, you know, something like this in the very good food company. Nev never's gonna do, you know, really decent gross margins. You think about, you know, if um, realistically, I mean, the years off it but if if you imagine if they somehow managed to get in, get to doing you know five million profit you put that on a p ratio it's still incredibly high so the valuation was just way out of whack as well and that was another point to be looking at is that 
the management team aren't executing, you have the money losing coming in, you have diluted shares, and the thing is you're paying an absolute bomb for the valuation on this company as well. So there's four negatives there, and we kind of talked about management already with these three points, but there was also management making other bad decisions as well. One of the bad decisions that I saw management making is they were choosing to spend, which they had hardly any of it because they were losing so much money and they were having to raise cash and do share dilution, is the cash that they did have, they were using cash uh, that they had management team to go promote their stock price or their stock on websites like YouTube. In this video here, we're going to be doing an update on the vegan stock, meatless stock that I own, the Very Good Food Company. Also guys, this video is sponsored by the Very Good Food Company. The management team were going to, you know, YouTube YouTubers that talk about stocks, paying them to promote their stock to try and help that share price go up. and. When a company makes a decision of going, okay, rather than investing in the company, trying to get the company to go uh, to help you fund the growth and the revenue and profit further forward, to spend that cash on promoting the stock price, that is a major red flag, 100%. Uh, we've seen it with plenty of companies before, Workhorse and Lords of Time Rose, how that ended out for them stocks. Major, major red flags when management made that decision. And also management then going on to do interviews on the YouTube scene rather than going, okay, right now at this key stage in your growth cycle, shouldn't you be spending all the time possible to you know, maximize the potential future for your company? Wouldn't that be the better thing to do? So when management are making these sort of decisions, that's a 100% red flag. That's, you know, if I ever see a management doing anything like that, I'm like, whoa, I'm not putting any capital in there. So there's five major issues with this company, you know, quite often if I see one of these major issues, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I want to be touching that one. But there was five red flags with this company, and it was very clear that this company wasn't going to do well going forward. So, um, yeah, that's obviously why I put this down as the worst stock that I've seen in 2021, and probably one of the top five worst stocks that I've ever looked at uh, since I've been investing uh, in the stock market for sure. So, yeah, I thought I'd make this video today kind of showing some of the red flags to avoid um, when you see some, if you see any of these things happening, you know, these are red flags that you want to avoid that stock and not invest in that, that stock. So um, yeah, I hope it's a little bit useful and maybe when you look into other stocks, you might notice a couple of these red flags and uh, avoid investing in it into it. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in a bit.